Hello, hello. Sorry, guys. I have it all, all crazy. I thought I had it straight. Obviously not. <laughs> if you happen to watch this on replay, if you would hashtag replay in the comments for me, that would be awesome and amazing. Sorry, I'm like, I gotta get on, I gotta get on. Hi Donna, how are you? Even though I don't know that I was ready, but <laughs> hi Teresa, how are you? Welcome you guys. Thank you for hopping on. If you guys wouldn't mind saying hi when you hop on, I would so appreciate it. Let me know how you guys are doing today. All the things. If you wouldn't also mind sprinkling this out there, that would be a huge help for me. And sprinkling means S-H-A-R-E. If you guys are not familiar with that, Facebook just doesn't want us to say that. So that's why we say sprinkle or spread the craftiness or however you guys like to say it for those of you who have been around a bit. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. So let me let, if you guys saw when I kind of unboxed this, I don't know, it's probably been a week or two ago. Um, it's these cute little spindles. And we're going to make a flag. I am like, I have got to get this done before the 4th, right? And I can let you guys know where I got this kit from. Um, just waiting a few minutes till we get some more eyeballs on the video. In the meantime, though, I am going to go ahead and do a coat of gray down. Welcome, welcome, you guys. Thanks for hopping on. I think I forgot half the stuff I needed, but we will get through it. Hopefully all the things that really matter are here, right? <laughs> so I am checking into um, how I can get you guys um, a text when I go live. So. So many of you guys have been telling me you haven't been getting any notifications, so I, I have been working on that a bit today. So I'm hoping by Monday, if not sooner, I will have that figured out so that we can do that. Hey Dana, how are you? Thank you for hopping on. So I'm getting some gray. I hadn't opened it yet. It is granite gray and it is apple barrel. Thank you for sprinkling, Dana. I appreciate it. So we're just gonna put a coat over all of this real quick. And I have a big brush now. Hi, Sybil, how are you? Welcome, you guys. It seems like it was really slow getting started today. I don't know what was going on with Facebook, but I'm glad you guys are hopping on now. So we are just going to cover this in that gray color. And this is a kit that I got from Lisa with Heart's Desire. And if any of you guys are interested in it, um, just let me know in the comments. I don't make anything off these kits, but I know Lisa would appreciate it if you guys are interested. Hi Dawn, how are you today? So yes, I am working on trying to get a number for you guys to text so that I can text you guys out when I'm gonna go live. Since it's been kind of, you're doing good Sybil, I'm glad. Kind of not as regular as it was when school was in session <laughs> since I've had the granddaughters. 
all three of them here for the summer it definitely is keeping me a lot busier so hey Kimbra how are you today so this kit is really cute and I know it's almost the 4th of July so you might even if you didn't want to get it for this year you could always get it for next year and we will be doing another one um, with the spindles for probably Christmas in July. It's a tree, so that one is super cute too. So how are you guys today? How's everyone doing? I think I already asked that, but I know some of you guys just hopped on, so I'm asking again. <laughs> and this is, um, it is engraved or whatever you, however you want to call it. So it shows you where you're going to be putting everything on here, which is super helpful, right? And you can definitely still see it through the paint. So you're not covering that up. You can still see where it goes. In case you guys can't see from back there. Oh, yesterday, you guys, I was going to come on live. I had every intention of doing it. I was just so tired that I could not stay awake. So that is why I did not get on. Hi, Deborah. I ended up taking a nap. I kind of felt the same way today, but I fought it, you guys. <laughs> I'm like, I have got to get some stuff done today. I could not be taking another nap. So I finally made it on. So well, this is a kit I got from Heart's Desire, and it's a flag, and we are going to use some other pieces for it. It is super cute. I'm just trying to get a base coat down on this, and then we will go from there. I almost got the base coat on here, you guys. All right. Thanks for speaking, Deborah. I appreciate it. And if you guys are new to me, my name is Darlia Sawyer, and I am owner of Darshay Designs, and I live in Western Colorado. And I really appreciate you being here. And if you are new, be sure and let us know. Ah, that's not fun cleaning up trees from the thunderstorm. Oh wow. We have two tornado. That is definitely not fun. I have never been a tornado, but I can't imagine that. I, I just like I think about it and I'm like, oh. <laughs> so we're gonna try to dry this real quick. I don't know if we'll get all this done, but we will finish it up tomorrow if we don't. I'm like, this week is kind of weird, and I had, like I said, I had hoped to be on yesterday, but that didn't happen. Because we have the holiday coming up. I've been wanting to do an auction. There's a lot of things on my list that have not been happening <laughs> so far. <laughs> Not quite dry yet. So when you guys go through a tornado, do you have a basement? Now I wrote about tornadoes in one of my books, <laughs> even though I haven't went through one. But of course I've heard stories and seen movies, all those things, you know, which help, but I think we are pretty dry now. Yeah, I decided I wanted to crack all this. So that's what we're going to do next. You know, I haven't done crackling for a while. I took a break, you guys. Because <laughs> for a bit there, it seemed like I was like, let's crackle everything. Hi, Veronica. How are you tonight? Welcome. Welcome, welcome. So tomorrow, I plan on being live. 
hopefully um, I don't really know my schedule yet so I don't want to give you guys a time um, I don't have my granddaughters on Fridays so that's a day I try to get errands and everything done I don't know why I'm picking this up right now you guys sorry ah, focus <laughs> So I will um, try to figure that out for sure. All right, so I'm going to put this on, and I usually try to put it on fairly thick. And this is the Folk Art Crackle Medium. I believe I got it off of Amazon, but I don't remember for sure. Oh, and I have to show you guys something I did get off Amazon <laughs> and got in the mail today. Oh, really, Deborah? That's interesting. Mod Podge has a crackle product. We'll have to check into that for sure. See how it works. It is a ton of fun for sure. So if you guys haven't tried it, you definitely should. You want to get your base coat layer down and then make sure that is dry. And then you want to put your crackle medium, at least with this, fairly thick. You don't want to spread it too thin. That's why I'm just kind of pouring it on here and then smoothing it out because when I have tried to do it then, it has not really worked very well. So how are you guys? Well, I asked you how you were doing. Do you guys have any plans for this weekend? The weather's been kind of wonky here today. We were getting pretty warm and then we have a cloudy day, so that is nice for sure and it's been kind of sprinkling off and on um but now it's pretty much partly cloudy and i think it's supposed to warm back up for the weekend yay <laughs> i um Felt like I was moving in slow motion today as far as trying to get some things done. It was taking me forever. I don't know. <laughs> you know, sometimes it feels like you can just whip through, you know, the things you need to do. I have like everyday things, which I call my chores. You know, those are just the basic things. Because if you guys have heard me before, I'm definitely a list person. So I love to make lists of what I have to do. You guys have had thunderstorms, Sybil? Yeah, we were having some lightning and thunder last night. But today it's just kind of been sprinkling. Before I forget, so I told you guys I got, off, got something off Amazon, right? Well, I've been wanting to get some molds for clay and you know, resin and so on. So I, I saw these on Amazon and I was like, oh, that's a really good price. And, um, you know, they were something I wanted. I didn't bother looking at how big they were, you guys. <laughs> so it's like, no wonder they were a really good price, right? <laughs> but they are really pretty. This is like roses and it came with three. So I don't feel too, too bad. And then butterflies. But we will use these <laughs> at some point. It's just I was a little bit shocked when I got them because, you know, how they always show them to you in the pictures. Like, I thought they were probably about this size or a little smaller. And so then when I got these, <laughs> I was like, uh, maybe you should read how long they are, you guys. <laughs> so, all right, we have our crackle medium down. We're going to go ahead and dry that. You guys had rain and thunder and lightning. Yeah, that's kind of how ours was. The lightning and thunder didn't last for very long. <clears throat> Yay, guys. We did make it up to 10 viewers, so one person rain will be going into our drawing. 
And if you guys don't know how that works, it's, it's for every 10 viewers that hop on. I put one name into the drawing. So at 20, it goes to 2. And 30 to 3. So the way to get that to go up is just so you guys be commenting. If you can sprinkle, um, smash the emojis, all those things help that. Hi, Denise. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So we are just drawing, draw, oh my word, drying our crackle medium on here real quick. So yes, those molds were really cute and I like them. I just thought they were bigger. <laughs> I was not paying attention. Oops, that is not what I want to do. for the hearts you guys and we will be doing another drawing very very shortly this is actually this will be what the last yeah live video to be able to get your name into the drawing for june so be sure and be commenting because how i pick the names is i just go through the comments and i'll just kind of go back and forth scroll back and forth and turn my head or close my eyes and whoever's name I land on, I'll turn back around. I'll, I mean, I'll just stop it and then I'll look and whoever's name it is on is who I will put in the drawing. So, yeah. It's getting there. Sorry guys, a lot of the heat full today, huh? Hi Nelda, how are you today? Welcome, welcome, or should I say, it's like 4.30 here in Western Colorado, but some of you guys are probably right about dinner time. What are you making for dinner? <laughs> I have picked up some hamburger and chicken, because I kind of like to do that, just pick it up and then... Um, because I hit it with my feet till I knocked it down. <laughs> I made a little divot in my paint and crackle, so I put a little more crackle there. Because I dropped that heat tool there. So I just have a little bit more down here. So that's why I did that. Otherwise, I would not have. All right. Are we done with that? Hopefully, right? Oh, okay, let me get a red. I think we're going to use this um, tomato red by Anita's. I think I am going to add a little bit of black to it. So I feel like I don't want it bright, bright red. I have this piece of cardboard, you guys, that I've been using for paint lately. I don't know why. <laughs> Just have. And we're also giving that board a little bit of a chance to dry because I'll we'll probably need a good amount here. It is pretty hot. And of course I have those like paint goobers or whatever you want to call them in the paint. Hey Elsie, how are you this afternoon? Does anybody have any news or anything they want to share or um any prayer requests or anything like that i would be happy to pray for you guys if you need anything so i'm just gonna stir this around and get out those yucky paint things hopefully you guys are all doing okay we have had just some things going on in our family. I think I've mentioned it before. That's just been a bit stressful. It, you know, it hasn't been major or anything like that, but you know how it is. <laughs> oh, that sounds so good. 
pasta salad and chicken, stuffed chicken breast. That sounds amazing. Ah, that's awesome. It's your 21st anniversary today, Dana. Congratulations. That's a milestone for sure. <clears throat> Are you guys doing anything special for your anniversary? We just had ours on the 23rd of um, June, our 15th. Yeah, Deborah, we would all love to share in your dinner if we could. <laughs> it does sound really good. I think my paint is just soaking into my cardboard. Hopefully I have enough to do what I want to do here. I think I'll just use a paintbrush. I won't soak up so much paint. It is all dry, so hopefully we'll get some crackle, you guys. That is the goal. And you want to be sure and put this layer of paint on fairly thick too. Although under here, I probably didn't even really need to do because we're putting another piece there. I should focus out here. <laughs> if I run out of paint, I can always make more for that area and it's not going to have to match perfectly. Hi Patty, how are you tonight? Can you guys see okay? I feel like I've got paint bottles everywhere. Probably in your way. I've got my desk crowded again, you guys. I get it cleaned off, and then before I know it, there it goes, getting all piled with stuff again. I really don't need to go back over the part I already went over. Let's see. Not really doing a whole lot yet. Hopefully it will. Now I'm starting to see a little bit. And I will do the edges of this too. I see it here in a minute. Do you guys like to crackle? <clears throat> so my thought was for next week, the theme I was thinking of doing was a sewing week. I'm not sure how many of you guys want to watch that although I think it will be a lot of fun and I will make it so you won't just have to have a sewing machine to do the projects so I will try to make it as user friendly as possible <laughs> what do you guys think does that sound interesting or you just have no interest in really working with fabric or sewing let me know. I have a bunch of ideas for different things for different weeks, but hi Kathleen, how are you? You guys all tired of the patriotic crafts yet? There's a couple more that I wanted to be sure and do with you guys, and this is one of them that I wanted to do with you. Trying to get these edges without getting it everywhere.
Oops. It's hard to do that and hold on to it and not have it go flying. Hi, Jerry. How are you tonight? It's good to see you. All right. I have enough paint. I can go ahead and do this part, even though we probably won't even see it, but I will know that it was finished. <laughs> Again, if you guys are hopping on late, I'm doing a kit that I got from Lisa with Heart's Desire. And I'll show it all to you guys here again in a minute. All the pieces that we're going to be doing with this. I definitely had enough red. I guess I don't have to worry about that. I go ahead and clean that up. I don't think I need it anymore. It has crackled and I'll, <laughs> I'll hit that with a heat gun here in just a second. More heat gun. Sorry guys. I guess this project requires a lot of painting, right? I'm doing well, Jerry. Thank you. I'm glad you're doing good. Glad to see you on. Whether you guys think so or not, I do miss you all when you're not here, but I also understand life is very, very busy for all of us. Okay. I think I'm just playing in the paint tonight. <laughs> Hi, Betsy. How are you tonight? Welcome, welcome. All right. I think I have most of that cleaned up. Kind of clean up under it real quick so we don't get it on the other stuff that I'm going to be showing you here in a second. And once I get this dry, I will let you guys see how it crackled. So when you guys do patriotic, do you like your reds to be really bright? I mean, I like it both ways. Definitely, I like it bright red and then sometimes I like it darker but since we're making this look kind of more vintage I definitely thought um, darker might be better and it's drying pretty quickly so. now it did make it a little bit harder to see the parts that were engraved in the kit if you guys didn't see how that was at the beginning. But I can still see it a little bit in most areas. So while I'm drying this, the parts that come with us are this part that's going to go there with a star on it. Um, and then all these spindles that were cut out. Those are really cute. We like it quite vegetable. We're getting there guys, we are. Now this you could definitely use in a wreath. I mean it, it's like almost a perfect size for that. And I'll give you guys some measurements here in a minute. You can use it as a door hanger. You could use it up on a mantle or as a shelf setter. It would definitely be cute for that. Okay, I think we got that. So let me show you the crackle that we got with it. What do you think? Nothing real big, but we did get some, so I think that's cool. So we're going to set that up there out of the way while we work on this other part. So this is what we're going to be doing with it. Um, like I said, these that part will go up there. And then our spindles will be, you know, down here at the bottom. 
and then the smaller ones right there. So it's really, really cute when it's done. Um, I watched Lisa do it and I was like, oh, that's so cute. Now, I'm debating on our spindles. I could just do them all white and do like some of the distressed oxide or inks on them to um, distress that. And I used gray underneath our red. Um, we are definitely going to be doing this blue. But I may use the gray under here and then do the blue on top. We could kind of crackle it to match. I don't know, you guys. What do you think? It's always hard to decide how to do these things, right? I may have needed to get my base coat a little bit thicker on this if I had wanted, um, you know, deeper crackles, but I like it the way it is. And then I'm going to, you wouldn't have to paint your edges at all because they're, you know, laser cut and they have that burned look to them. But I don't know. I have a thing about my edges. <laughs> so this is a fun kit you could get to um, just do one evening. It could be fun to get a few and do them with family. If any of you guys are interested, I will give you that link. Again, I'm not, I'm not an affiliate or anything. It's just I thought they were really cute. So I thought I would show you guys. And it was a little late for to be able to use it for the 4th of July decor for this year by the time you would get it, but definitely something you could use next year or you could also wait for the one we will be doing for the Christmas in July that with the spindles, the Christmas tree, so. <laughs> right, Jerry? I just have to have it the same color as the rest. I don't know why. And I'm kind of that way with the back too. I don't always get it done, but usually before I sell them or anything, I make sure and do that because I don't know, that bugs me too. I feel like I just need to have it all done. Okay, more heat tool noise. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> I'm just going to do it a little bit and then I'm going to go ahead and paint our spindles real quick and let's see should I do gray underneath them I don't know if I want to crackle them you guys maybe not I think we're just going to do these white and then we'll either put gray or brown around our edges. I don't think I want to crack all these because um, I want to make sure and be able to see all these little lines that we can clean out with a, um, a pen if I had one over here. <laughs> Hopefully I have one over here. Okay. And I wish I had a makeup sponge over here because I feel like that would go really quickly, but I don't. It's across my room. I have not put any of these kits together before. But, you know, if you like to paint, I think you would enjoy it. So are you guys going to be watching fireworks this weekend? Are you going to be spending some time with family? 
I am not sure what we're doing. Well, you never know with Facebook why something may post twice or not post at all, right? <laughs> I think they've been doing a lot of updating and stuff lately, which has led to a lot of really wonky things going on. I've heard other creators and crafters talking about all the issues they've been having, so not fun. Hopefully it will all get fixed soon. <laughs> so let me, I want to at least finish one of these spindles with you guys and then we get our star and stuff together. And I'm going to keep you on here forever. We'll see how far we can go. And by five o'clock, we can get it together all the way or not. I want to at least show you. So I would definitely be doing the edges on this too, but I will go back and do that later, you guys, when you're not having to watch me do that. <laughs> all right. So not a lot of paint got in those edges, just a little, but it definitely cleans out without an issue. And you could go in there with a little bit of brown or gray and just kind of make it more defined if you wanted to. So I'm going to set this to the side. And we are going to finish up this piece. And we're going to crackle it and then put the blue on the top. Yeah, that's what I think is it's Facebook acting up because it's too, it's too weird. You know, it's not anything anybody is really doing. It's just kind of weird. I'm trying to get this maybe even a little thicker to see if we can get more crackle on it. I definitely think I probably got enough on here, so we should be good in that department. <laughs> Did you guys um, happen to catch, I know some of you did, the Junk Journal Week. That was the theme week we did last week. And then um, I think it was Tuesday, we did a sunflower themed craft. And I wasn't sure what I was doing this week. And then I was kind of like, well, I could just do the sunflowers and do some patriotic. But if you guys have any suggestions of things you would like to see, let me know. All right. I did get that thicker, so we'll see what it does. Hi, Louise. How are you tonight? It may take a moment to dry. <laughs> I also got it on my mask. We'll get it partially dry and then I'll work on another while well, do the star and let it dry some more. And then we might come back and touch up whatever isn't dry. So we're kind of making hopefully good use of our time here so you guys can see more of all of this. So I'm just using white on our star too. And these probably are going to need a couple of coats is my guess. Now the pieces that of course we're crackling and doing two coats on already are going to be fine, but the ones that I'm doing white are probably going to need a couple of coats. Ha <laughs> 
<clears throat> so have you guys already ate dinner or is everybody still in the process of thinking about it or <laughs> cooking it? All right, our little star is almost done. I love doing patriotic. I can definitely do patriotic crafts any time of the year. I love the colors. I love what it means. So definitely don't get tired of it. I feel like it's a lot of fun. <clears throat> you just say the snack so well. <laughs> that is a good plan. Kind of mess going down here with that crackle medium and my paint. Okay, I'm gonna set our star to the side. Didn't dry as much as I was hoping. I probably got this one too thick. <laughs> I don't eat at night, Snowball. Well, that's probably actually a good thing. A good habit. I don't know. You hear so many things of what is better for us to do and stuff. I think I got that too thick. Maybe I can smooth it out a little bit here without doing anything to it. Hopefully, trying to get more crackle, but it's too much. There is a point of too much crackle. <laughs> Medium, anyway. I have so many crafts, you guys, I need to take pictures of. I am right. Sorry, I got this one too, too thick. We're gonna be using Anita's acrylic, I mean, yeah, uh, navy blue to go over this gray. It's getting there. I guess I knew this was going to be a lot of painting, obviously, but I guess I really didn't know <laughs> how much painting it was going to be. I should have did some base coats before I came on. It would have helped. Yeah. <laughs> what have you guys been doing as far as crafting this week? How long have I been crafting? I have been crafting for a lot of years. So I started with sewing when I was a teenager and crocheting. Um, my mom did try to teach me knitting, but I just never liked it, could get the hang of it. I don't know. I just didn't enjoy it. And I did like needlepoint and stuff too. And then, I don't know, like 15 to 20. Okay, let's get real with the timeline here. Thinking about how my daughter <laughs> Probably about 15 years ago, um, you know, I've, we've done painting and, and different things. My daughter worked for, for a florist for a while, 
and we decided we were gonna you know start doing craft fairs and festivals and all that so that is when I really um, started getting into crafting as you know more than just a hobby now as far as going online and doing lives I've been doing that about two years and so it's been a bit of time for sure I'm saying probably you know sewing like I said I've been doing since my teenage years so that by far is the most I love doing wreaths and signs and um what is my favorite I don't know I just love all the types of um, crafting. We've been doing junk journals on here lately. I love to do jewelry, resin. Um, now I'm willing to try whatever things come up I think might be interesting. But yeah, still keep doing all the other things that are really fun to do. So I'm trying to get our top coat a little bit thicker this time too, just to see how that's going to work. If it will give us more crackle or not, except I got it on my rim. <clears throat> Try to get that off real quick before it. And I'll just probably go over that with all the red I threw away. Right? <laughs> it's not too bad. I can barely see it. And one of the spindles may go there too. Just getting a little careless with the painting. So and again I'd go around my edges. I guess I really don't need to do gray because I was gonna go over the gray with the blue, but I did. <laughs> So we've been doing craft fairs for a lot, quite a few years. I organized one where I live too for our church and it's fairly big. We have about usually between 50 and 60 vendors. So, and then we've done some festivals, but mostly craft fairs. And then about two years ago, I decided that I wanted to try doing it online and teaching crafting that way. I've done some classes uh, mainly with painting or sewing. Um, I don't know, it's just a lot of fun. For those of you guys on, how long have you guys been crafting or what did you um, start with doing? What's your favorite thing to do? That's three questions. You can only answer one. You don't have to answer them all if you don't want to. Well, I don't know if putting the Mod Podge on thick really did any better for the crackling. I kind of feel like it did better on the other board unless this one starts crackling more here in a minute. Just getting those edges. I mean, we are getting some, but not anymore, I don't think. I see, I can't see the last part of your comment, Patty. You got started crafting, was buying a, and then it's cutting Facebook, it's being lovely and cutting it off for me. <laughs> the first thing I bought, of course, was a sewing machine because that's what I was doing the most of when I first started doing anything. It's weird it doesn't really look like crackling as much as, well, a little bit. I'll dry it and show you guys. I know, Abby. Granddaughter's in here. <laughs> it still looks cool.
I don't know. The crackle just may not have been dry enough. Like I said, it's streaky. It looks cool. It definitely goes okay with what we're doing. Oh, you made your own wedding dress. Plastic canvas. Yeah, I did that too. And crochet. I do like crochet a lot, but I am better at sticking with the smaller, easier to finish projects because I just have a hard time finishing things if they take me a really long time. I have like three quilts that I've started and <laughs> not finished. I have finished one and they're in various stages. Like one is probably about half to three quarters done and then some are and the rest are less than that. So this is let me give you guys an idea of what it's going to be looking like. And I will definitely show you guys the finished art. Actually, I'm going to come back on tomorrow. I'll have it mostly finished except maybe just distressing it or something. And then we'll glue it together. So... Anyway, once I get these painted white and we distress them, you guys can kind of see what the finished project will be like. I do like the mixture of colors. I just wish this had crackled a little more, but I might try to redo it. I don't know. What do you guys think? I think it's going to be really cute when it's totally done. We are out of time. I kept you guys a couple more minutes than I said I was going to. But thanks for um, joining me tonight. And we will do something else fun tomorrow. And finish this. Show you the finished project. We'll distress it and then we'll do something else. But you guys, thanks for coming on tonight. I know I love this. I think it's going to be really pretty once it's done. Just not quite happy with the blue but I'll work with that I really love how this part turned out but anyway guys thank you be blessed have a great night and I hope to see you tomorrow and we will do something else fun thank you guys bye for now